G'day guys, Luke here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a setup video on chocolate, who is my baby Ben and Knobtail Gecko. So, first of all, you need an enclosure for a baby gecko. Uh, she's housed in a plastic tub with air holes in it. Uh, her heat mat is underneath, which is set at 34 degrees Celsius, while the cooling is 25 degrees, so she can move around the enclosure and sit at a temperature that she feels she wants to sit in. Food wise, I do give her extra small crickets or pinheads. Uh, they'll gladly take them. Always put about half a dozen in there. If she eats some more, make sure put more in there. So when she does get hungry, <laughs> um, they will take it, hopefully. Water, she's just got a bottle cap lid, fill up with water. But I do have a spray bottle which I spray her every couple of days just to keep her moisture up. Her substrate sand, uh, the first couple of days uh, she was hatched, I did have her on paper towel just because she was new, of course, and I wanted her to get used to walking. As soon as I put her on the sand, she was digging and doing enrichment with it, so it's always good to have these guys on sand, even though most of you guys probably hate it. With a hide, all I've done is got a plastic uh, cup cut a hole in it and they've got some background or contact that I cover it over just to darken it and she's been enjoying that that's pretty much a basic setup for her that's all you need really when it comes to a baby gecko such as her uh, there's different species of geckos of course which need other needs but this is all I have uh, if you guys want to see another video there's a playlist of the rest of the room setups. Uh, let me guys know if you want to see a setup video on Monty. I might do a setup video on these guys since this is a new tank. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you want to see more, there will be some videos in the description. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in another video.